Hi and welcome to another Node-RED video and in this video we're going to look at moving data between uh, flows and between nodes without actually using wires. So uh, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, these are the, this is the flow I'm going to use to demonstrate it and you can see here that generally we just take a node and we link it to another node with a wire and then we link it to another node with a wire so the message gets passed from this node into this node into this node and likewise with this one here. And if I take you back to a, a more complicated example here, you can see here the f message flow is going from one node into the next node into the next node and onwards. And you may, you may find that in a flow you have um, different segments of the flow. So this is one segment of the flow and this is another segment of the flow. And the messages, messages in this segment of the flow or the activity in this segment of the flow isn't linked to the activity here and you may need to link it and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be linking uh, flow segments and we're going to linking flows without actually wiring them together. So let's return to the demo flow that I'm going to use to illustrate this. Now here we've got two flow segments. There's a top segment here and we've got an inject node injecting um, a value of 1 into this function node and we've got some display nodes here displaying the text and we've got another flow segment here and this is displaying an alarm. Now these two segments, flow segments, aren't linked together. Now these are actually flow segments because they're part of the same flow but they could actually be separate flows. This could actually be in another tab. Uh, one of these could be in another tab. So how do we link these two flows together, all these flow segments together, without actually putting a physical wire between the, the two of them? Well, the answer is to use the either the flow object or the, the global object. Now, because they're part of the same flow, I can use the flow object here. If they're in separate flows, I need to use the global object here. Now, you'll find this is a very useful technique, and I actually use this quite often in my flows. So let's have a look at it here. and just take you to the output of what we were actually seeing and we're seeing a counter here on the top and when the counter gets to a number divisible by 10 it sets off the alarm you can see here it's off now when it gets to 40 it comes on very very simple now this alarm is triggered by the bottom flow and this counter is triggered by the top flow so this is the counter flow here and this is the alarm flow here and if I look at the top flow here, the counter flow, we've got an inject node injecting every second. This is the counter. And this function node here is basically keeping count. And you can see I'm using a context object to keep count. And that's OK because I'm not linking that the counter between the flows. And if I come further down here, you can see me setting the count so I'm storing it away. And this is the one that sets off the alarm. Now, this is a a very simple example normally would you be detecting something coming in maybe over MQTT or HTTP and you'd be using that to set off or trigger an alarm or to trigger something and you need to pick that up somewhere else in the flow or in another flow so what I'm doing here is when I can divide this exactly by 10 then I set off the alarm and I'm using the global object to do this and I'm setting a value alarm and I'm setting it to on and if it's not divisible by 10, then I set the alarm to off the global. And that's that's all there is in that function. Uh, I return the message, and that message goes into this, and it displays it on the screen, which I just showed you. Now, to pick up that global object in the, here, the first thing I do here is I set the alarm to the global object, and then I put it into the payload, and I return it. And then you'll see it displayed over here and here we go here you see the counter and you can see the alarm being triggered on and off and the alarm is actually being triggered in this function here or in this flow segment here but it's actually being picked up and displayed in this flow segment here and that's how we actually move messages between flows or between flow segments without actually physically wiring them together 
Well, that was a very short uh, video, and I hope you found it useful. As I say, I use this technique quite often in my flows. I'll make the flow available for download, and I'll put a link to the tutorial on the flow and global object uh, in the video description, so you can take a look at that if you if you want to. Okay. If you've got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. If you like the video, then click on the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos to the channel, you can always subscribe and click on the notification button. And until next time, goodbye.